Uh, the gentleman I'm going to introduce flew in from Texas to be here on this special occasion. And he probably knows more about this next song than just about anybody because he helped introduce it to the world. You know the individual I'm talking about, John Bradshaw. He, uh, through his PBS specials, his best-selling books, his workshops, would you please welcome our very special guest for this evening, John Bradshaw. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. This music is something sacred to me, and it offers us the opportunity of enormous healing. The, the last thing that the song helps me to understand is that I must remember that child abusers, for the most part, were abused as children, and that there's this tragic cycle of child abuse that leads people to abuse children. Uh, every batterer that I've ever interviewed was also battered as a child. Uh, and so we've got to understand that the healing of the child becomes the most important thing. The other thing that for me is so important to grasp is that I've got to understand that there is an abuser in me. When I think of the times I yelled at my children, when I think of the day I was out of control hitting my son, I don't mean with a belt and I don't mean that I beat him bloody. I, I was a normal daddy giving him a spanking, but out of control. And, and I think that we all need to be able to identify the part of us that was spanked and yelled at as children that we will tend to reenact as parents and not just see child abuse as this sinister, these sinister characters over here in the corner. Because until we can own the darkness in our own hearts, until we can remember that there's a wounded child in all of us, and that child is often, often the source of violence, that when I can own that, then, then healing can begin. But as long as I'm up here and acting righteous and talking about those horrible monsters and don't understand that those monsters exist in me. So that's why we must remember the child. Because the child lives in all of us, either wounded or healed, either the source of creativity or the source of violence. Silence. 
so loud I won't laugh so hard I'll shut my mouth One, two, three for you Ma. I won't make a sound Do re me and angry Words are all I hear Through my bedroom walls Dead loud and clear Afraid to holler, Mama. Oh, please come hold me tight. Go on and close your eyes, Mom. Take a little trip through time, Dad. Let it all. And give unto every child the love, the love. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It's the wonderful part of the child in us that's a source of creativity. Creativity overcomes violence. The greatest thing we know is that creativity overcomes violence. Hear the truth from up above Instead of so much tearing down We should be creating love Sometimes it feels like we're all living in the dark But I know there must be a way Things we cover up 
But God is building ways to hurt When we should be creating love More and better guns Aren't the answer And pills and chills and thrills Just make you a dancer Gone way out of time We should be building bridges to each other Out one heart and to another Yours and mine Sending rocket ships to Mars is fine by me But flying off to outer space won't ever set you free All the world's inventions, things that we've been dreaming of Haven't taught us more than this we should be creating love They haven't taught us more than this We should be creating Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a wonderful orchestra. Let's hear it for the Saginaw Symphony and Leo Najjar, the great maestro. And remember the child will Thank you very, very much. Thank you.